Ooh, it's come to change our lives forever. Building our nations and our homes, restoring sight to the blind, bringing hope to the hopeless. It goes beyond language barrier, 'cause it's a God carrier. It's our messenger angel to the rest of the world. It's rap so deep. Our reality is giving our lives a meaning. Rap so deep. Our reality is giving our day a lift. Directing our path, enlightening our world. Rap so deep. Our reality. Has come to change our lives forever. Coming up on Rhapsody of Realities, you become a success when you address, when you help others to be successful. Amen. It's yet another month in our year of the Word of God, Rhapsody of Realities. The world's number one daily devotional is shaping lives. Building nations and making a difference in our world today. This month of October, join our hosts in London, United Kingdom, for an in-depth study of God's Word, as shared by Pastor Chris and Pastor Anita in the October edition of the Messenger Angel. In God, we can change our world. The Word of God works without fail every time we apply it. It is more blessed to give than to receive. Wake up and become somebody. Stay tuned. Hello, and welcome to Rhapsody of Realities, your favourite daily devotional program. We are coming to you from the city of London in the United Kingdom. Hallelujah! And today we have another great message from our mother, Reverend Anita. Hallelujah! You know, Linda. Whenever I come to London, I get very excited because I, I get to see all kinds of people. Yes, and it's such a beautiful cosmopolitan. You get to meet.、Uh, you don't ever go to Japan to see Japanese people there. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and it's so true, it's、yes. really beautiful.、Uh, you know, see God's people. You know. Amen.、Yeah. Yes. And we thank God. But there's a special group of people that I want to acknowledge、uh, today. And without this group of people,、uh, it could be possible that we would not have the rhapsody of reality. Amen.、Uh, That's true. Become the success that it has become. Absolutely, yes. And I'm talking about、uh, the special group of people,、Amen. and this special group of people are the Rhapsody Partners. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. You know, there are men and women all over the globe, right from America to China, from Malaysia to here, right here in UK, from、Amen. Nigeria to South Africa. Men and women who have laid down their lives. Given of their time, given of their finances, and becoming partners with this great devotional,、Amen. and this is why we can do so much,、yes. and this is why we can take the rhapsodies to to the Fijian Islands.、Amen. This is why this rhapsody is going to go to the Amazon,、mm. to the remote tribes of the Amazon, and.、Um, So we want to、uh, acknowledge our partners.、Amen. We want to thank you very much、yes. uh, for being part of such a great, great、uh, initiative、Amen. to take the word of God through this wonderful rhapsody of realities to every nation, to every tribe,、Amen. to every town. And、uh, God bless you, partners.、Amen. God、Amen. bless you. And without them, we couldn't do what we do. We can't, you know, because of them, we can reach、Absolutely. the outermost parts、yes. of this world.、Yeah. Hallelujah! I was intrigued and quite uh, uh, blessed when I saw、uh, Rhapsody in in the Hindi language. Amen. And、uh, I speak a little bit of Hindi. Wow! And uh, uh, I was really very excited. Praise and, God!、Uh, and I got a few copies, and I'm going to give it to some of my family members、Hallelujah. for them to. Uh, know the word of God,、Amen. to know this Jesus,、Amen. to know who they are,、Amen. to know that they have a great life、Amen. through Christ. Hallelujah! Praise God. 
Okay, we are going to take a short break right now. Viewers will be back, but do not go away. Light up the world with Rhapsody of Realities. The world is experiencing a great light, and this light is shining so bright across all nations. Rhapsody of Realities is illuminating the world and spreading God's glory. It's bringing healing, comfort, and joy to so many around the world. Our messenger angel is fulfilling God's dream of an earth filled with the knowledge of the gospel. Several have found solace and refuge under its brightness. Many are finding a new hope, a new life, and a new joy as they come in contact with the life-transforming devotional. God had a dream, and He provided Rhapsody of Realities as a light to the earth. And you, our faithful partners, have brought about the spread of God's dream through your partnership with our messenger angel. Thank you, our dear esteemed partners. You are fulfilling God's dream. Through you, more lives will be impacted and Rhapsody of Realities will continually light up the world. Thank you for a job well done. For more information on Rhapsody of Realities partnership, please call the number now showing on your screen. You can also visit us on our website, www.rhapsodyofrealities.org. God bless you. Welcome back, viewers. Today we have a very special message for you from Pastor Anita. Today is Thursday, October the 18th. And the title is, You Have Something to Give. <laughs> Hallelujah. What a wonderful title. You Have Something to Give. Yes. Praise God. In Acts 20, verse 35, it says, Remember the words of the Lord Jesus, how he said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. Isn't that amazing? You know, in the world we live in today, people think, you know, they want to just receive, but without giving. Yeah. But the Bible clearly says, yeah. It is more blessed to give yeah. than to receive. Yeah. Praise God. And Linda, especially in the current economic climate, where mm. People are living very carefully. Yes. And living carefully is not the key no. to prosperity. Amen. Living carefully, they say, oh, we have to save for the rainy day. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we have Last lots of week, rainy days yeah, in well, England. <laughs> yes, well, well, otherwise we have, in fact, it was raining when we came, came here. here. It was, yes. <laughs> but we thank God, but for the child <laughs> of God, there's no rainy day. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, our, our life is brightened up. By amen. The word of God. Yes, amen. And uh, hallelujah. So it's, uh, but it is a real issue. It is. It's it a is. Real, real issue that we have to address. It's a real issue that uh, people in this nation have to to address and to rectify uh, through the word of God, yes. so that they amen. don't have to be takers. And there's nothing wrong with taking. No, no. But it is more blessed. To, to give. Because I know people who don't even want to take. They say, oh, I, I, I'm going to bless you, but I don't want... Some people, they, they tithe and they put seeds into the offering basket. Amen. And say, oh, I don't want anything from God. I think that's also foolishness. Yes, that's true, yeah. yes. Hallelujah. Pastor Anita says, I want to challenge you today about your life and ministry as an individual. What kind of life are you living Wow. That's a sobering question. That's a, yeah, <laughs> what kind of life are you living? Hallelujah. Are you in the world just to collect from others? Or do you think there's something in you to give? Wow, yeah. praise God. You know, Linda, I want to I wanna address something uh, uh, that we have in this, in this country. Amen. You know, this country was founded on Christian values and mm. Christian principles. Yes, it was. And... Uh, the government of the yesteryears, they initiated a, a program to help the poor and the needy. Yes. Amen. And it was a very noble thing. Amen, yes. We, we call it the benefit system. And th that itself was founded on Christian principles. Yes. Because the government Absolutely. wanted to help the poor. And the Bible says you should help the, the poor, poor and the needy. widows, Amen. the orphans. But unfortunately, this whole system has gone a bit pear-shaped. Yes, it has. <laughs> people have been taken advantage yes, of the system have, and that in it, the wrong way. Yes, mm. and also this system has eroded 
man's dignity yes. and character mm. and uh, I know of people they who are infirmed who are for instance on incapacity benefit mm. who rather stay in that state of infirmity mm. because of the financial uh, uh, help that they receive in the government yes then as opposed to going to the healing school and getting healed yes and that's being true. free from this infirmity yes. so it's a, it's a terrible thing and that's why it's important that we teach people yeah. the word of god so they don't have to stay Absolutely. in that state yeah. praise god yeah. pastor anita goes on to say in life you must give before you take for giving precedes receiving wow yeah some people don't receive because they're not good givers mm -hmm. wow every good giver is a good receiver hallelujah i like that yeah you know many times but in my early christian days um i didn't have a problem with giving but i had a problem with receiving mm -hmm. but as i have grown in the word i understand that you know you have to receive you know god will you know when you ask god for something and he gives it to you and you don't take it mm. you it, you know you, yeah. you, you can't pray and not receive something yeah. but they go in hand in hand yeah. you you have to give and also receive yeah uh, yeah viewers maybe you are sitting there watching this program and maybe this is an area that you are struggling mm. with maybe struggling with the issue of receiving mm. and there's nothing wrong with receiving as Amen. long as you can also have a freedom to give yes. so you must be able to be free to receive be free to give also Amen. don't only be a, re a receiver mm. or don't even just become a giver yes you have to you have to walk in freedom Amen. Christ yes. has made us free Amen. hallelujah praise God now Pastor Anita goes on to say in the second paragraph, she says, uh, if you have always had people give to you mm. and you have <laughs> never been challenged to give to others, you are on the wrong path. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Hallelujah. Uh, you might say, but I don't even have a home. Mm. I have no job. I have to beg to eat. What could I possibly have in me to give to someone else? Wow. I want you to know that even in that predicament, Pastor Anita says, I want you to know that even in that predicament, Amen. you can still be a blessing. Yes. You know, I've been thinking, the thought that comes to mind is, whenever we talk about giving and receiving, the mindset, the natural mindset is physical uh, possessions. Yes. Monetary possessions. Yes, that's true. Um, but it doesn't have to be so. No. We no. have something to give yes. in something in us mm. you know we have gifts abilities talents we have lots of things that we can give but as you said in the you know people think that you know you have to give something a gift and it has to be an expensive gift or yeah. you have to give money and <laughs> and you know what i mean something yeah. that's you know look i've given you this yeah. but sometimes it's just a friendly smile yeah many people say to me or a laugh well i'm always laughing you yeah. know but people hear that and that's something that yeah. is a gift to You're somebody giving something you smile i'm always smiling and when you see somebody in the streets and they're looking sad and yeah. and you i just smile at them i don't know them and it's like you know it just brightens up their day yeah. something so simple as just smiling at somebody saying hello or opening the door for somebody just yeah. being polite to somebody yeah it that's what yeah. we have we all have that yeah. inside us and, and you are absolutely right in there you know man has especially in this day and age man mm. has become uh, come to a place of so much of selfishness and hurt in their hearts Amen. they are so far from so mm. far remotely far from mm. love the the good mornings the thank yous the pleases that even takes them aback yes it's they have true. Gone so far from love yes so really we can take advantage of the situation because mm. It doesn't take much to be polite to somebody. Yes, bring people to somebody. Yes. To you know, my wife and I, we we have for a long time now. We have decided to invite somebody to our home for Amen. a meal. Now, yes. what does it take to cook a meal? Mm. To feed another mouth? It's very easy. Very easy. And we can. Most people can cook something. It's inexpensive. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. 
All great moments, somebody's gone. Yes. I'm open to you to come yeah. to Mount My Lawn. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe the, next, that. maybe the next springtime. Okay. No, okay. before that. <laughs> All right, viewers. Uh, we're going to take a short break right now, but do think about mowing somebody's lawn before we go on a break.